Well, good Tuesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you and you had a good night's rest. Um, I'm still trying to catch up um, on some well-needed rest from those grandkids visiting on the weekend, but it was a great time. Um, I'm going to read to you from the book of Hebrews this morning, chapter 3 of the book of Hebrews. And I'm going to start with verse 7. It says, Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as they did in the provocation, in the day of temptation, in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, and proved me, and saw my works forty years. Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation, and said, They do always err in their heart and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath they shall not enter into my rest. Now all of that is in um, parentheses, or in uh, uh, when, we, when we read from wherefore, and then starting with the word as, and ending up, so I swear in my wrath that shall not enter, they shall not enter into my rest. All of that has been spoken by the Holy Spirit. And so when we hear that, we know it's just not a, a preacher or a minister speaking those words, but it is the Spirit of God who says, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, in the days of temptation in the wilderness when they provoked God to anger by not believing him, by not uh, putting their confidence in him and what he could and what he would do for them. You know, I um, use this phrase sometimes. My dad used to say um, uh, something to the effect of talking until you're blue in the face. And I know that it is not that God just speaks and speaks and speaks until he's blue in the face. But um, the Spirit of God declares to us that there is a time when we can provoke the Holy Spirit unto anger uh, and God unto anger by not uh, putting our hope and our trust and our confidence in him. How often can God tell us something? Um, or how often should he tell us something before we believe it. And it should just be once. How often should God call on a person? How often should God speak to a person? Should he speak to them? Draw them to him? Um, some people say that he's only uh, responsible to call on the individual one time. Well, God can do whatever he chooses to do, and there's no way I would sit here and tell you um, that I suggest he only calls a certain amount of times. He's merciful. He's long-suffering. He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come unto him. You know, for you and I, if we have children or grandchildren or parents or, or brothers and sisters or somebody that doesn't have a relationship with Christ, we pray for them, uh, that God extends mercy to them, that they will uh, not only hear his call, but they will accept it. But what about for those who uh, have walked with the Lord and maybe are walking at a distance? Did you ever suspect. Um, I know we lived close to the ocean uh, when we lived in the Myrtle Beach area, and we went there. Teresa and I would go there, try to go there every Saturday, but we would go there in the summertime even after work in some evenings. And when I used to go out in the water, when, when um, I would go out before I had the problem and broke my ankle and all the stuff I went through there. I would go out in the water and you're out there very long. Those waves beat you, but when they go back out, they have a tendency to want to suck you out as well. And I think about all the people who have walked close to God at one time and now aren't. And they just seem as if they have drifted with the flow uh, of the crowd as it has went out. Maybe it's drawn them out. Uh, I would say to you today, hear his voice. Well, you have an opportunity. 
Um, don't provoke him to anger, but hear his voice. Um, come and fellowship with God. Uh, it's, it's a sad thing to watch people who know the right way, but choose the wrong way. And if I feel that way uh, as a pastor, seeing people who know the right way and choose the wrong way, how must God feel? as our Heavenly Father, as He watches at times when we drift uh, in directions we should not drift. Well, that's what this song talks about, drifting too far from the shore. So we'll give it a shot this morning. <clears throat> Out on the perilous deep Where danger silent And storms so violently sweet You're drifting too far from the shore Drifting too far from the shore You are drifting too far Come to Jesus today, let him show you the way, you're drifting too far from the shore. Today the tempest rolls high, and clouds overshadow the sky. Sure death is hovering night. You're drifting too far from the shore. Drifting too far from the shore you are drifting too far from the shore come to Jesus today let him show you the way you're drifting too far Why meet a terrible fate Where mercies abundantly away Turn back before it's too late You're drifting Drifting too far from the shore, you are drifting too far from the shore. Come to Jesus today, let him show you the You're drifting too far from the shore. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. And God, I pray for those that are listening today that maybe are drifting 
Um, and God, I believe that if they are, they're aware of it. And Lord, I pray that you will just deal with their hearts. Continue to show them love and mercy. Draw them to you. For those who do not have a relationship with you, God, I pray that you will draw them to you as well. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Folks, I pray you have a great day and we'll see you Wednesday. God bless.